Welcome to the evolving world of energy. Hi, I'm Professor Energy, and this is my brand new electric vehicle, Eve. Hi, everyone. You may have heard some recent buzz around electric vehicles. Once a niche car option, EV cells have been steadily increasing over the past decade. In fact, Americans purchased 10 times more electric vehicles last year than they did in 2011. Let's take a ride so you can see what this phenomenon is all about. We're cruising now. One thing a lot of people don't know about EVs is they accelerate much faster than gas-powered cars due to the instant torque from the electric motor. Hey, Vince, meet Eve. She's three times more energy efficient than a gas-powered car, and she's gonna save me around $1,000 this year on fuel costs. And here is what's really amazing. You can now find tons of different options on the market, from Chevy, Nissan, and many others. And while EVs can sometimes have a higher sticker price, the federal government and some states offer incentives and tax credits to help people buy them. Not to mention HOV, toll road, and parking space access perks. Eve, look at some of your friends. Don't tell Vince, but another big benefit to owning an EV like me is that we're more affordable to maintain because we have fewer moving parts to break down, making us much more reliable. I also don't require oil changes. Say goodbye to long waits at the mechanic. Check out my torque, Vince. If you're interested in checking out one for yourself, you can find purchasing info incentives on your Electric Utilities website. Utilities see supportive EVs as a big priority. There are also websites that help customers compare and test drive different models of electric vehicles. Hey Melissa, meet Eve. Nice ride, running out of juice already? <laughs> nope, we just need a quick snack. A common question about electric vehicles is, what if you run out of battery power in the middle of nowhere? It's a good question, but the good news is newer EV models have an increased average range of over 200 miles, and most Americans, even those living in more rural areas, drive only between 35 and 50 miles per day, and many electricity providers offer low-rate plans for EV drivers to charge up on the cheap. The number of charging stations is also growing fast. In most states, there are incentives for building charging stations at businesses, and utilities are also making major investments. In fact, the number of charging outlets nationwide has more than tripled in the last six years. And if you need a charge, you can use one of the many mobile apps to easily find a nearby station. Of course, one of the biggest reasons many drivers go electric is for the environment. Gas-powered vehicles emit air pollutions that contribute to smog, haze, and health problems, as well as greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. In fact, researchers estimate that if you drive the same number of miles, an EV will result in 2.5 times less emissions. And as more electricity is generated from renewable resources like wind and solar, annual emissions for an EV will approach almost zero. Like in Vermont, where 89% of electricity comes from low carbon sources. <laughs> Looks like everyone is joining the electric vehicle parade. Just like the innovations that made the Model T more popular than horse-drawn carriages. Today's new, more affordable and easy to maintain electric vehicles are quickly becoming a smart and economic choice for any driver who wants to join the wave of the future. For more information, check out the guidebook. 